Let's get down to business here. If I don't get blown away by this giant tropical storm. That's trying to come in and get me here. What is this, the sleazy brownie? The sleazy brownie for all of your sleazy needs. It's getting all over my hands. It's all over my hands now. What am I gonna do? You gotta lick it, gotta lick it. All right, I'm here at Armature Works. We went to Bacon Babes. Not bacon like, you know, a pork bacon. La, la, la. But bacon like they're baking. And we got ourselves a sleazy brownie as it is known. And I wanna break this down. This could be something as a person with diabetes that freaks you out. You're thinking, how would I dose for this? I could never have this in my entire life. And I wanna show you that not only is it possible, but it's possible to do it and have great blood sugars with it too. Gotta have this miracle. So if you don't know me, my name is Ben Zeal. I'm a registered dietitian strength coach and I've lived with type 1 diabetes myself for over 20 years. So without further ado, let's break this down so you have confidence in eating a dessert just like this in the not so distant future because life is too short to not have food that you love. All right, so this, we're gonna really get specific on it. It's in three layers, right? It's like the three layer brownie. We got the brownie, we have the cookie dough in the middle, and then we have the cookie. It's like the cookie dough is a transitional phase. Brownie went through puberty. But we've been waiting for this moment since we hit puberty. And it's stacked up one at a time. So how would I break this down and how will I break this down? Because I am gonna eat this and I might share with Amelia if she wants to be nice, but we'll see. She'll probably be nice. But anyways, this being said, we have a cookie, right? This is probably the size, you know the soft cookies, like the delicious ones you get like straight out of the oven? Gonna be one of those. Probably gonna be, I would say like a small to medium-ish cookie. So this bottom layer right here, which my finger is covering a little bit, I would put that bottom layer in total at about 20. Could it potentially be 25? Yes, but again, with restaurants, with foods that are out of the home, you may not be exactly precise, and the goal is just to get as close as possible. Oh, I get it. Now, there's that cookie dough layer in here. Cookie dough layer looks pretty small. In this situation, given what cookie dough is, given the nature of the density of cookie dough, I would put that layer probably about 15 to 20 as well. So you're looking right now if you're keeping score. Let's say we go with 18. Keeping score at home, we'll round up. We'll go 40. We'll say 22. Remember, I said 20 to 25. And then we said 15 to 20. So we'll go with 40 in total so far. And now, missing the top, we need to look at the top layer of this brownie. And this is actually pretty small. You tiny thing. This is actually the smallest layer by far. There is a little bit of frosting on it as evidenced by all over my fingers, but this top layer, I would put at 15. So this whole thing, I would say is about 55. That is how I would dose for it. Maybe up to 60. I can't imagine it being much more unless the cookie dough layer is very deceptive. So me personally, if I were to eat this entire thing by myself and not share, I would be taking for 55 to 60 grams, maybe split the difference and go 57. Because remember, the goal is to get as close as humanly possible. Thank you. So I hope this helped a little bit so the next time you want a dessert, you are going to feel supremely confident and you're going to have the dessert instead of saying, no, I don't really know because my blood sugars are scary. No, you'll feel confident in having it. And with that, let me know what other foods you want me to break down. Drop a comment below this video. Be happy to make that happen for you. And if you're somebody who said, hey, I would never go near this with a 10-foot pole. I'm terrified of a lot of different foods or certain foods make me uncomfortable or anxious and I never seem to be able to nail the dose and when I go to restaurants, my team of registered dietitians and I are here to help. We all live with diabetes. We all understand exactly what you're going through on a personal level day to day because we live with it too. And we all have exercise backgrounds. So we're here to be able to help you optimize your blood sugars while eating amazing food. So if you're looking for support like that, shoot me a message, drop a comment below this video. Let us know how we can support you. And with that, oh yeah. Damn. Damn. Crazy brownie for the win. <laughs>